Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's Monday, July 3rd, 2023, and I want to tell everybody, happy 4th of July tomorrow. One of you in our community, and you know who you are, thank you very much, sent me a video about recent activity that's occurring there at Catla Volcano. Thank you very much. He gave a link to a video that is titled big news the unrest of catlo volcano 500 earthquakes near Reykjavik and the author here on YouTube is just and Icelandic so there is a warning here on um, Icelandic Met office it says gas pollution near Kankuluga sorry I'll just spell it k-o-t-l-u-j-o K-U-L-L, -L, and possible water rising in the levels of another volcano, and that one spelled M-U-L-A-K-V-I-S-L. -L. A lot of things going on here. Okay, here is Catala Volcano. This is the area where the water level is rising down here towards the southeast. This here is the bridge. Uh, the only way in and out uh, for one of these small towns and evidently the man lives close to this area and he's worried that the media is not talking about it and they worry about a tsunami of water um, from the melt from this volcano from the glacier and then people could be very well be trapped and yeah possibly lose their lives I think there's another bridge over here I don't have it marked. We got Highway 1 and 254. So according to the Icelandic Met Office, uh, there is gas coming up. An increased level of gas. They're advising people not to go to the area. I'm not living there, so I don't know where it's at. But it's evidently close to an ice cave which would be um, somewhere, let me see if I can find it, somewhere in this location. I'll show you a map. The two little dots here are actually places where you can go and buy iceware. Let's see what it says here, if it'll show up. Um, yeah, it's a store. Let me Let me bring this over. And then, okay, that's one. What does this one say here? So it must be in this location somewhere. I don't know. But that's where I believe that they're getting gases because of the magma that's coming up. And I'm going to bring this out, and then I'm going to show you. Okay, we got water level rising there, probably from the heat of the magma coming in um, there's been over 600 earthquakes and they all occurred after this magnitude 3.3 here we have an image of the plume that comes up from the mantle of the earth um, it starts out real deep they call it the greenland plume and then it separates into the iceland plume remember that lately i've been talking about these trees of plumes creating these different volcanoes all right let me pull this up a little bit more so over here is Iceland, and over here we have Greenland. Many of you that have been following me through the years will remember where I talked about how we got um, separation, Iceland's being split apart because of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We got the Eurasian Plate on one side, we got the Atlantic Plate, and we got spreading going on. Um, yeah, why they're not talking about this, maybe they figure... They won't be having eruption. Maybe um, it's just more spreading, separating of Iceland that's going on. I don't know. So they have a list here of the earthquakes within the last 48 hours. Um, let's see. Magnitude 0 0.6, 0 0.7. A lot of small ones. A 1.1. 1. 1. 
I'll bring it down 0, 0.0 and they're pretty shallow uh, 5 kilometers, 6 kilometer, uh, 1.9 kilometers. Remember all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Okay, that one was 11 kilometers, a 0 0.5. Yeah, small. Remember I talked about how you'll be getting small earthquakes when the ground is brittle and it's not elastic. So, um, yeah, don't necessarily need to have a large earthquake. I thought I'd just seen, okay, we got a 2.0. That was yesterday on Sunday. And I did download data. Let's see, will it go all the way down to that 3.3? No, it only goes to um, Saturday. I don't see the 3.3. I only found one monitor over on the west side um, that shows that's actually working. Here's one. Um, yeah, that is a volcanic earthquake. So they do have magma on the move. Okay, and that, there's one there. It's one of these larger ones because they just show up as blips. I'll show you where that station is at. This is when I pulled the files. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of earthquakes. Oops, there was one that was a little bit larger. Mm. Let's go to the spectrogram. You can see it's bringing up the gases. So we got hot water. We got heat that's melting the uh, glacier. And we got um, the heated water, of course. And now we know for a fact that we have toxic gases. Let me show you this real quick. All right, so here's the area where the earthquake swarms are going on. We got two areas, actually. Um, Vistafell right here. There's the earthquake station. And then there's another earthquake swarm going on over here, I believe it is. But I do know for a fact that it's at Vistafell. Let me take the roads out. You can see, um, if they have a tsunami of water coming through from the melting of the glacier, and that's what the one fellow in his video was worried about there is only one road yeah around the outside here where people can evacuate it is the height of um, the season for people who want to go look at the uh, volcanoes and lava and things like that it is the height of the season um, surprisingly the ones that I looked at they have high elevation normal elevation but they are all listed as green. I don't think I can make this bigger, but the areas in red are um, since the last earthquake between a zero and a four. And then we got another area up here towards the east and then another one towards the north. Another map that they have shows the different earthquakes within the last week. Let's see if I can make that bigger. That's as big as I can get it. Yeah, a whole bunch down here in this area of the glacier and then off over here for that one little town that I can't, <laughs> I butcher the name. So you can see the two lines I got drawn out. Um, yeah, this is an area of spreading and um, yeah, it's a real wide zone for the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is part of the Mid-Atlantic Atlantic Ridge. So for the exact location, probably the ice caves, I'm just guessing. They probably have them closed or giving warning. I'm sure all the guides have the equipment to measure the gases for the ice caves down here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be going down in there or close to there if they got um, volcanic gases, which can kill people. The fellow that put out the video, he says he does have his bug out kit already. It's already packed up in his car. Um, he feels evidently there might be an eruption of Catla Volcano. It could be. I don't know. Um, it says here the biggest quake was a 4.4 .4 in magnitude. Now this comes from the Iceland Monitor. Okay. Um, it was at 1.18 a.m. their time. A series of quakes at the uh, glacier. More than 70 quakes were reported that time. 
six quakes more than a magnitude three. Okay, I, USGS has nothing listed at all. The only thing they have listed is a 4.4, .4, but that was in Greenland Sea. I'll show you. All right, so here we have Iceland. And over here to the top and to the left is Greenland. And this is still part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And there's the 4.4. Okay. Not a single other earthquake is USGS reporting for the area. And then it said there was no tsunami. It says here turmoil, but it was felt in different places. And they got a map here, but I can't find the location of these earthquakes other than what they are reporting on um, Iceland Met. Then they reported the magnitude, what they said was a 3.1 um, on Monday. Um, that was under Volcano Discovery. And... They're saying that this earthquake swarm in Iceland actually began because of that 4.4 along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Yeah, quite a ways north. Here's another image, and they're still debating about these mantle plumes. You know, they used to argue about um, the continents actually moving until recently. But here we got the United States. You can see, um, yeah, and this goes all the way up here to Iceland and Greenland and then down over here I wish it would rotate but it won't rotate you know I was talking about the plume up there in um, India and Africa dividing that up and then we got the plume that comes up to Hawaii let me bring this down and then Antarctica these are what is called mantle plumes let me bring this up And then we got the Canary Island. Well, it doesn't really show the Canary Islands, does it? No. Yeah, they debated about uh, tectonics, um, the plates moving. And this is evidently being, being debated since 2003. I'll give you a link to it because they got um, links to different articles. This is probably one of the best images I could find uh, showing the uh, mantle plume. Here we got the upper mantle and i'm not sure how far deep this goes but anyways yeah no one's talking about these earthquake swarms or the gases or the melt of the glacier why not like i said it's the peak of their tourist season for the ice caves and different things different activities for people to go there to iceland what are your thoughts Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you watch that other video. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.